If you are someone who still uses CDs, DVDs or Blu-rays with your computer, having an eject button in the menu bar of macOS can be very useful. However, as we can't add the eject button to the menu bar through system settings, we're going to need to delve into the operating system to find a program that will run the eject command. If from the menu bar of macOS, we select Go, and then choose Go to Folder. By typing forward slash system, forward slash library, forward slash core services, forward slash menu extras, and then pressing enter on our keyboard, we will find a list of commands that when selected will add specific icons to our menu bar. From this list, if we locate and double click on eject.menu, an eject icon will be added to the menu bar. If we select the eject icon, as we currently do not have a CD or DVD drive connected to our computer, we are informed that no drives are connected. Let's connect an external USB DVD drive to our computer and once again select the eject icon. We can now see the name of our DVD drive and by using the icon, either open the drive tray or eject a disk from our drive. In order to remove the eject icon from the menu bar, if we hold down the command key on our keyboard and then using the mouse pointer, drag the icon towards the center of our screen. When we release our finger from the mouse button, the eject icon will be removed.